Hey everyone, this is Aaron from GeoAce. I am here for another tutorial um, about QGIS and how you can use it for field forms. So uh, today we're going to go over how to kind of load in offline base maps uh, into your iOS device. And note that I say iOS device for some reason this hasn't consistently worked for Android and conversely my um, Android method hasn't really consistently worked for iOS so I don't know why that is again not a developer but uh, I'm going to show you how I handle base maps in iOS so uh, let's go ahead and get started here I'm going to go ahead and the first thing that we have to do is we have to make an uh, offline base map so uh, we're going to start a brand new project here and it's going to be super simple we're just going to pull in Let's start with OSM here. We're going to make two base maps today. One's going to be OpenStreetMap, and the other one's going to be um, an aerial image. Because at least when I do my field operations, that's pretty much the two that I like to switch between here. I typically tend to have the OSM to get me generally where I need to be, and then I will have the aerial imagery to kind of show me more specifically where I am. But anyway, uh, let's see. We're going to go ahead and save it as whatever. It doesn't really matter. I have a temporary folder I'm going to save it in. And uh, let's just call it base maps. All right. Uh, we're good to go there. And now we're going to the first. It's a really simple step, really. The main thing is knowing which uh, step to take. So just if you go to your processing toolbox here, you can put an X, Y, Z tiles and we want the map box tiles so you can go with the directory it's a lot more complicated this just spits out one fold or one file for you kind of treated like a zip file and um, it's just a lot easier to move around too so we're going to go that route i'm just going to draw on the canvas with the area that i want the aerial imagery is going to be a lot more straightforward um, but anyway, let's go ahead and there. Um, set your zoom extents. Uh, really, honestly, anything that is less than 12 doesn't really matter that much because there aren't going to be too many tiles. Uh, at a minimum, though, you should probably go for 19 on your maximum zoom. Uh, DPI, I usually find my sweet spot around 150, but you can play with the settings to find out what you like. And um, JPEG, so it's a smaller file size for your mobile device. And... I just like to have a top quality, especially because I don't have a super high maximum zoom. So I'm going to go ahead and save to a file. We're just going to go with our temporary folder here. Let's just call it OSM. Very, very creative title. We're going to hit run, and then I'm going to go ahead and pause this until it uh, completes. And when it completes, we'll go ahead and get started again. All right, so uh, we went ahead and got this thing finished up. The one thing to note, though, we did get some errors along the way. So this is me running this about a third time. Um, I did some digging, and it looks like if you are specifically using an external hard drive to write this thing to, that you're going to have um, potential timeout issues. So just switching it to my local drive ended up working, just as an FYI for anybody who has any trouble with that. Um, but anyway, uh, if we're going to hit close here. We're going to go ahead and load up that uh, tile layer that we just created. Let's see if we can make, make it work. Yep. All right, we're loaded in. I'm going to turn off the online version, the um, online service here. I'm going to go ahead and remove it. And you can see that we are left with the uh, offline version that we just made. Uh, the size on this thing um, just for reference, it's going to be probably larger for the image, but the size on this is 182 megabytes. Um, so all that we have left to do is the imagery at this point. I'm going to go ahead and remove this, turn it off, whatever. Make note of where you saved it, though. And we're going to load in some imagery here. All right, I have just found my imagery. I'm dragging it into the project here. And what you'll find or what you'll see is that I actually have four different kind of quadrants here. Um, it doesn't really matter how many t larger tiles or quadrants or um, TIFFs you have coming into this thing because it's actually going to be using the canvas to generate your tiles anyway. So um, we're going to go ahead and just repeat the same process as we did before with the MB tiles. 
and our extent we can if you have a virtual raster going you can use that extent but since i'm being lazy right now i'm just going to go ahead and draw on the canvas and our minimum zoom we'll just set that to eight maximum zoom we will set to 19. honestly if you're really wanting to get fine grains 20 usually is a pretty good too um, dpi will be 150. Uh, JPEG for space reasons and our quality. You can't have 100 quality. Let's just 100. Let's go with 100. And then we're going to save it at the same place that we have our imagery. Um, you can see that I've already have this here from a, a recent thing, a recent operation. So I'll just put an underscore. Or we're just going to call it imagery. Easy, easy. All right. We're going to hit run, and away it goes. All right, we are all finished up now. So all we really need to do, the probably the most important thing at this point is to, um, we can close out of this first and foremost, but uh, we need to take our tiles that we just generated, and we need to actually drag them into our Q GIS or Q field document folder here. So I have that here on the right and then this is the directory where i have my tiles made i'm just going to cut them and paste them in good to go there just for reference so <laughs> i'm going to show you real quick the uh, imagery is actually much smaller than the osm in this case the reason why is because the osm is huge i didn't realize that i had taken that much more but it is what it is it doesn't really matter for demo purposes anyway but in you know real world, world scenario where you actually cared about space you would probably want to pair this back to just the area that you care about now that we have our tiles in the right spot the next thing that we have to do is um we have to open our uh, q field document which i am doing right now now that we are in our Q field uh, document that we've been working out of, we're going to paste this, these, both of these in or drag and drop them in. You can see our imagery is right here on top, which is good. Um, we're going to move them behind everything else. They're a base map after all. And um, let's say, let's default to imagery here or to the OSM. And then we can, the users can just turn on the imagery as they want to. One thing to note is that uh, if you go to these settings, you can check this base map, um, but this is not what we're going to be doing in this case. Uh, checking this base map uh, checkbox here, what it does is it actually will tile the imagery for you within the application itself. Um, I haven't been able to get it con to consistently work within iOS, so that's why we just tiled everything ourselves here. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to kind of continue on here. Just a summary for iOS. Don't check that. We're just going to be tiled everything on our side of things. And so it's going to go directly to the cloud that way. All right. Now that we're ready to sync, we're going to go ahead and do that. And if you do this correctly, you should see that you have your MB tiles, both imagery and OSM added here. So right now these are slotted to get uploaded to um, the cloud for you to so just make sure everything is checked just to make sure we have a clean slate and away we go all right so we have uploaded all of our files to the cloud and now that all it's left to do is to verify on q field that the base maps are there so to do that just open up your q field application q field projects in this case i've actually already downloaded the file locally so you don't have to wait and cover that in this tutorial if you need a refresher on how to do that just go to our first video but uh, summary is if just make sure that you long tap on our project you go to remove stored project and then you re-download the the project that we've been working on in this case again it's field ops and it's available locally already i've already gotten us that far and if you click on that then it's going to take you i can already see that the imagery is loaded in so just to confirm that OSM went in, all you have to do is hit your little hamburger icon there. Long tap on imagery. We can turn that off and you can see OSM is already highlighted there, but just 
visually, now you can see that we have our OSM layer as well. Uh, and that's pretty much all that we need to do for this tutorial. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. Um, next week, we're going to cover map themes. So we'll look forward to seeing you next time. And please like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do to keep learning about QField. All right, thanks, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.